Macbeth by William Shakespeare. Scotland is at war and has just won a great battle. Macbeth, a general in the Scottish army, is the hero of the fight. On his way home, Macbeth and his friend Banquo meet three mysterious witches. Where shall we three meet again? In thunder, riding or rain. When the hurly burly is done, and when the battle's lost and won, there will be air of the sun. Where the place? Upon the heath, there to meet with Macbeth. The witches already know Macbeth's name. They tell him he will be promoted and will have more money and power. Then they tell him that after he has been promoted, he will become the new king of Scotland. What are these so withered and so wild in their attire that look not like the inhabitants on the earth and yet are honest? Speak if you can, I charge you. All hail to the master, hail to the queen of the land. Macbeth is confused and really doesn't believe the witches. But Macbeth receives a letter from King Duncan telling him he has been promoted and that he has more money and power. Macbeth starts to wonder if he will become king one day too. Macbeth writes a letter to his wife, Lady Macbeth, telling her what the witches said and about his promotion from King Duncan. She becomes excited about the idea of her husband becoming king, as she wants to be in power herself. Dear the love of my life, it has been years since I've seen you. I have missed your kind touch and your soft hugs. It has been a long, hard-fought war, but your love has kept me strong. I know that you have missed me as well. It breaks my heart when I have to leave to go to war. I have deep, deep feelings for you, Lady Macbeth. I miss your soft brown hair and your excellent dress sense and all your imperfections. I just want to feel your soft kiss against my hurt but soft lips. My arm is broken, but don't worry. The man who broke it is no longer alive. I love you, my princess, in every single way. Lady Macbeth is worried that her husband won't do anything to become king. So she comes up with a plan to murder King Duncan, who is coming to stay at the Macbeth's castle that night. Macbeth sees a knife in front of him. He knows it's wrong, but he decides to kill King Duncan. When King Duncan is discovered dead in the morning, Macbeth lies and tells everyone that the guards killed the king. King Duncan's son Malcolm worries that his life is in danger, so he runs away to England. Macbeth becomes King of Scotland, and Lady Macbeth becomes his queen. Macbeth is worried that his friend Banquo knows that he killed Duncan. He decides that Banquo must die too, and he orders someone to kill him. At dinner that night, Macbeth sees Banquo's ghost in front of him. No one else can see it, and Macbeth is very frightened, acting strangely in front of his dinner guests. Who is that? What do you mean? There's nobody there. Bob, Bob, he's, he's there. Macbeth goes to see the witches again. He asks the witches if he is in danger, and they tell him that he is safe until a nearby forest comes to the door of his castle. This is so unlikely that Macbeth is relieved. Lady Macbeth starts sleepwalking. She feels very guilty about King Duncan's murder. She thinks she can see blood on her hands and can't get them clean. In despair, she kills herself. You see, her eyes are open. Aye, but their sense is shut. Yet, here's a spot! Damn spot! 
Yet who'd have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? Do you mark that? What? Will these hands never be clean? No more that, my lord. No more that. Oh. Macbeth has many enemies. King Duncan's son Malcolm has organized an army to attack Macbeth's castle. Fear not till Brynham Wood come towards Dunsign. But now a wood comes towards Dunsign. Arm, arm and out. The soldiers use tree branches to disguise themselves. It appears as if the forest is coming to the door of the castle. Macbeth realizes this means he's in danger. Macbeth's army is drawn into a great battle. The witches were right, and Macbeth is killed at the hands of his enemies. King Duncan's son Malcolm becomes the new King of Scotland. People of Scotland, I'm the great mother. Now, our kingdom is safe. Praise the Lord, because I'm the king, the successor of King Duncan. King Duncan II. 